Hey all, Flame here with a bit of a quick and dirty update video on what's going on on the FC Playthroughs channel because the schedule for this thing has been a bit all over the place lately and I feel like I owe a little bit of an explanation of what's been going on and what will be going on. So just to kind of get the big thing out of the way, there was a break a couple of weeks ago where there was nothing on the channel for a while. If you've been reading my community posts, you'll know that that's because I was feeling sick and that illness lasted a lot longer than I was expecting it to last, so I didn't have enough videos pre-recorded to put up. I wanted to just say that the worst of that illness is now out of the way. Like, I've still got a bit of a sore throat, which is probably why I sound... I probably sound a little bit scratchy right now, and I apologise for that. But, like, the worst of it is out of the way, so... Yeah, like, I'm on the mend. I'm getting better. I want to thank everyone who left messages on the community post wishing me well. So thank you all so much for that. I'm at a point where I can work again now, but I've just run into another issue that's kind of been a long time coming, and I've seen it coming, but I felt like it's made itself known now. And that's that with my PC, one of my drives is dying like it's just on its way out whenever i go to do anything with it it chugs for ages to load up and that's the sort of thing that can interfere with recordings this in itself it shouldn't be that big of a problem to fix i there's nothing really stopping me from just getting a replacement drive swapping out the old one with a new one copying things over and i'll be good to go but the reality of the situation is that I've had this PC for nearly a decade now and I feel like now I kind of have an excuse to upgrade the thing. I've put in an order just for a new build entirely so I can get something with much better specs, like with a much better processor, much better graphics card. I don't necessarily need that but now's as good as time as any to upgrade. So what that means is that until I get this new PC I'm not comfortable recording things that where I need to record live video like with say the 3DS stuff or PC games or console games because this old drive can cause problems with that. Like if I were to get like 30 minutes into a recording and then the drive lagged out that could make the recording software crash and I'll just be wasting my time really. But what I can do is I can record games through the emulator using the re-recording tools and that's what I've been doing for a lot of the retro games so for the next I would say maybe two or three weeks until I've got the new PC set up ready to go I'm going to be focusing entirely on some classic games. I've just put up the Sonic 3D Flicky's Island Mega Drive run which was recorded for that reason I've just started putting up the Saturn version of that game, so if you want to like contrast and compare the way the two different ones play, you know, like they've got different graphics, different music, so I, I think it's worth doing a second run. That's what's going on now, and I've also started recording the first couple of parts of another classic game that will go up after that. And hopefully by the time that one's finished, I'll have the new PC up and ready to go so I can get back to recording the other games that are ongoing because like, I want to make it clear that nothing's being dropped nothing's being forgotten about like you say the Pokemon X run is still ongoing I got, I'm up to the start of the post game now so as soon as I get me 3DS capture software set up on my new PC I'll be back to that and I'll be recording the post game with Persona 3 Reload, that's one I just finished up the Lovers Arcana boss, so I can get back into the swing of things again once I've got my new PC and I've got the capture card set up with that. Same thing with the Neptunia Rebirth 3 playthrough, which I've already backed up on my save file, so I can just carry on from where I got up to on the new one. And Modern Warfare 2 as well, that's another one that I've just sort of had in the background that I come back to every now and then. So like again, like I say, nothing's dropped or forgotten about, none of these playthroughs are cancelled. It just means that it'll probably be a little while before I get back to them. I started this channel back in 2015 and for the longest time I've prided myself on putting out consistent high quality gameplay videos. And I feel like over the past few months, even though it's been entirely due to matters out of my own control, 
I've been slacking on the consistent part. There's been schedule drops. There've been days without videos. And I stand by the principle that I would rather prioritize quality over quantity in these situations. And that's why I didn't like force myself to record videos when I was ill and things like that. But the consistency part is also important. I shouldn't really be leaving people waiting too long for new videos. So I want to just take a moment to apologize for the delays and give you my word that once I've got the new PC set up and all my software recording equipment and that set up and got through the teething issues that are likely to kick in because there's always problems when you get a new computer or you update something that just happens. Once I've got everything in order I am going to make getting back on track with this channel my main focus. I'll focus on getting the Pokemon X playthrough post game completed because I know a lot of people are invested in that one. I'll get back to Persona 3 Reload, Modern Warfare 2 and Neptunia Rebirth 3 because I don't like leaving those playthroughs lingering. And that's going to be my focus as soon as I am capable to do so I will put my best foot forward to bring this channel to where it is and that that's kind of where I feel I should leave this off because I do have a tendency to ramble uh, like I've already done that but <laughs> but yeah like, I just felt like I wanted to keep everyone in the loop I usually post updates like this on the YouTube community tab but I also am very much aware that not everyone sees the community tab. Like sometimes people on mobile don't see it or, you know, like I know YouTube notifications are a bit all over the place. So if you ever are curious as to what's coming next on the channel, you can make your way there manually and see if I've made a post recently. But, you know, since this is kind of, it's been an ongoing thing, I wanted to make a proper video about it. So thank you for your time, thank you for your patience, and thank you for all the support on the videos. I really do appreciate it, and I hope you all have a great day. I've been Flameclaw, and I'll see you next time for another video. Bye bye for now.